Yeah, that video is. Uh, is I put both video. of them they in here. <laughs> yeah, I pulled up both. Good, because yeah, they're pretty. They went, they're not long, so. No, and one of them, one of them is from Taser themselves, and another I one's saw from that. Uh, Officer Something or Other, and yeah, he just I went and he did too. like a little convention thing they had, and I was like, okay, I love it. We're live. Oh, this, this thumbnail's hilarious. We are live, <laughs> live on the internet. Oh, what is going on, internet? Welcome to our Thursday stream. Uh, this is going to be, uh, as always, our body cam breakdown series. I got some thank yous I got to get out of the way, and then we will get to the videos. Uh, as uh, usual, I do believe, I can't see the orientation yet. But is I your video running? That, uh, Mine is not running. Check. What, the live? No, it's not running. Did oh, you hit go I live on see. YouTube too? Uh -huh. There it is. It's ad. up. There it goes. Okay, we're just... Oh, it's because we've got the ad delays. Yeah, and as I was saying... There's a, uh, there was, uh, I have some thank yous I gotta do before we get to the body cam stuff. Uh, the very, 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 very top is, uh, my real top, uh, Bill himself. Uh, him and I were law enforcement officers between 2017 and 2021, and we now give our time to the internet to go educate the public. Right. Um, between us, the bologna between our sandwich here is, uh, producer Juan. He is the logistics behind it. Without him, we don't have any cool looking PNGs or editing or any of that kind of stuff. So uh, most of your Patreon dollars are going to making sure that we have that kind of stuff. You also wouldn't sure, have uh, officer reacts. Yeah, like, agree. like agree. comments and all our new shorts. Yeah, the little shorts and all that stuff. That's a it's a huge pain in the ass that and all that stuff. So go ahead and give uh, producer Juan some love, uh, and then uh, the power bottom below me, the little talking face here, who's Josh, uh, is Sean, and he will be joining us here, longtime Patreon sub. Uh, and uh, also part of the law enforcement family. Uh, I want to give some hellos to everybody that's currently in the chat. Sweeper <laughs> was in like five minutes early here, so shout out to him for being early. Brian P. is giving a what's up, and uh, St. George, or Sergeant George, as his name would oh, think, make you think it is, uh, he's here in the chat. Uh, Sweeper's still here. Alfredo <laughs> with the little cat in the box, which makes me happy every time I see it. And then Real Ness 1665. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, uh, thank you guys for here. If you're here, go ahead and drop a like uh, that pushes this out. Uh, hopefully, we can see how monetized we will be today. Um, hey, that's why I started. Say, yeah. I started with this screen, so we can have the warning, the warning right on the beginning nice. of our video. Right. Um, I need to give a big special thank you to Christian Halsey for the super chat. As uh, a super, we have my guy. Here. And he said, uh, thank you for making all the videos. Love all of them. Thank you. We love them. And we try to make them for you guys. Uh, Alfredo gave us some more kittens in the box. Uh, I want to give a big special thank you to our Patreon subs. Uh, they have made this uh, a doable process. Uh, it, it takes up literally, I just got done working and I went from the desk that's to my right to this desk. <laughs> um, Bill was with me today. I was. Uh, I was at work. Uh, we, so we, we rode two some, man today. Two man today. Uh, so, Not two men, uh, two men, two men, two men. No, there <laughs> was two. Amazing, there was two other men there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank our Patreon group. Uh, they they have made this journey super cool. Also, to our now over three thousand subscribers to this YouTube channel. Uh, you guys are making this very exciting for us all. Uh, we have a TikTok uh, that we have a bunch of crazy stuff on. Uh, an Instagram go. account and all of that. Uh, if you'd like to join our Patreon group, it is this little. As a dollar a month, uh, Bill's giving you a visual aid for those of you that can't hear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, can join. you can join our Patreon. That gives you access to our Discord. Our Discord is how we do all the planning and all this stuff. It is also where our after party will be. Once we're done with this stream, I will hang out with you guys in the OCFT. For those of you that are the Patreon group slash Discord, you'll know what that means. Where we uh, chat, share deals, and all that cool stuff. Uh that's it we do this uh, every tuesday and every thursday and uh, like i said bill and i who were both former police officers that have done a lot of hood rat things in our time apply some education to this be warned uh, there is going to be a little bit of violence in this kind of stuff people do get hurt that is the nature of law enforcement we are not here to glamorize it or to boot lick or to uh condemn it our whole idea is to try to be objective and to give you guys a more educated perspective on this unless you're a shitty cop then we'll, In that case, we are going to roast the shit out of you. Then we'll condemn it. <laughs> so, um, we are now St. Going... George will condemn you to hell. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, Sean's back. Uh, we're going to get... Hey, Sean. You're, you're muted, muted, buddy. Oh. He's gonna there he is. There he is, big guy. 
Uh, Sean, longtime sub and also part of the law enforcement community, he is here to lend his expertise. He also, out of everyone here, uh, has supervisory experience. So shout out to him. Not the shitty kind, the kind that still goes to work and does things. Mm -hmm. So he can give us that perspective. Uh, Depends so on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, I will continue to sip my coffee and we will go ahead and get to the body cam breakdown. Okay. Guess, uh, yes, I said uh, I was done with this, <laughs> <laughs> but um, Christian put it in the Discord, and because <laughs> Christian makes my life so easy on Thursdays, we're going to watch this one final video, and then we're done talking about this dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I will okay. give a preface here. This is not real body Situation. cam footage. This is not real body cam footage. But I mean, it might own. be. <laughs> I'm gonna check in for realism. Says Axon right to here. To the fact, fact yeah, check yeah, it. Totally unbelievable. <laughs> here you go. Fine, yeah, it's, it's a marijuana. There's not even any in there. Okay. What are you gonna arrest me for an uh, empty pipe? Sir, okay, marijuana good. is illegal. And that is PC at that point. <laughs> Laverne police, open up. Laverne police, open up. Her standing in the doorway is pretty sus. Call. We got a call about a disturbance. Uh, it's my dog. I'm sorry. He just kind of gets yappy. Come Would you mind on. if I came in? Uh oh. Graphic oh, imagery. Hey, so, yeah, got verbal consent to, to enter the structure? You. That's actually pretty what good. What is that over there? With what? Oh, that, that's, that's paraphernalia. In plain view. <laughs> in plain view. <laughs> Plain view right. doctrine for the uninitiated is oh, if I'm no. in a place where I can lawfully be and can. Sir, this is. Uh, unassistedly like he, observe like something, then it is in plain view. Fine, yeah, it's, it's Thus, can build towards PC for a search. Okay. Arrest. What are you gonna arrest me for an uh, empty pipe? Sir, marijuana is illegal. Oh my god. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to get out of the arrest by maybe. Yes. Well, All right, so, so out of 10, how's the police work up to this point? It's not bad, to be honest. She got verbal consent <clears throat> to enter the structure on a disturbance, which is a reason to go and have contact. It's actually, this isn't terrible. This isn't terrible policing so far. Out of 10, I'd give it a 69. <laughs> <laughs> Um, would you want to? No, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I didn't watch this one. Sir, for a marijuana charge, I think it's. <laughs> what are they doing in 68 Whiskey's room? <laughs> Why are we pausing this video? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he didn't give any reason, uh, in my personal opinion, to go hands on here. Uh, he is very compliant. He's in there, uh, unless she plans to go and arrest the guy. Uh, although uh, Pennsylvania v. Mims will allow you to control the movement of a subject during an investigation, she does have a detention. Uh, I am not team the uh, a request for Couple the uh, favor or the hands on. Here. <laughs> Life for you also, shouldn't be doing an investigation like this by yourself. Having more officers come here. Which I guess you fix it. That is not. She doesn't do it by herself sir. much. Man. Brian P, go to church. You need Jesus. Do it. You want to arrest me? That is correct, sir. Sergeant George angry. Pornhub's already getting the rights right now. <sighs> Christian Halsey, thank you for this bit <laughs> of uh, video content. St. <laughs> George, wow. forgive us our trespasses. Yeah, it says, St. George, forgive us of our transgressions here. Wow, that was the first time that guy rode a train. Very weird. <laughs> All right. Um, Christian, that was for you, and I'm done. Well, that was for you. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you for all of the help that you give us on Thursdays. Like, seriously, 70% of the videos we watch are from him. So shout out to him and his support. Yeah. Uh, Moving I on. I just want to say, before we start this, fuck Volusia County. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there it is. Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. Fuck him. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a OIS, so be triggered. And this is also Axon footage, so... Uh, 
Sergeant George already knows how I feel about this. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Can you put the knife down? Just go, man. Just put the knife just down. Just sex check my mom and dad driving me okay. crazy. Just go, man. No. Just go. Just go. No, you don't have to go. Just go, man. No, you don't. I know what the call text is here. Domestic. That makes sense. Yeah, you're not leaving if that's the case. It's his parents. Put the light. Put the knife down. I like how this cop on the right's just chilling. The porch in certain areas might be six feet wide. In other areas, it, it's probably less than three feet or two feet wide. There's not a lot of room to, man to maneuver. What's it gonna take the That's their stupid the share of talking. Okay, put the oh. down. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Put the knife down. Nobody is threatening your mother. Come get it, man. I tell you what, dad here is just no fear. She's got the chair. Oh, she's got a stool. Chair. He's got double knives and a stool from deploying on his center and center mass. The lion tamer. So OC makes a little bit of sense maybe here. Nobody wants um, to hurt you. I don't know, bro. He's just gonna piss him off. Yeah, the, the problem is you still have like non-combatants inside of this, so you're gonna be juicing everybody. Nobody inside wants to hurt you. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. If you just put the knives down, especially Nobody those old folks. You. Put the knives yeah. down. I tell you what, though. Nobody wants to hurt you. Uh, a beanbag round. To his face Nobody wants to hurt you. <laughs> I say oh, tase yeah, him in so. the nuts, bro. Fuck the yeah. stool. This is also where our, um, what's it called, hugging robot would be very useful. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the middle of the man catcher, dude. Uh, with a barricaded subject, He's got it. two knives, uh, and a stool. Not so the former the officer right that we were just talking about. That's right, yeah, no, not her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, both are standing inside and they don't want to. The device. To be fair, she uh, didn't catch any of those yeah, men. No, she no, caught no. something, you, uh, but. She caught something. I need, if somebody can come here with an impact uh, weapon, she could probably she caught a few million men. Yeah. <laughs> he's got, like I said, he's got a stool and he's trying so to block. So, how often were you on a cell phone with a supervisor during a call like this? Two knives in his hand. Happened more often than you'd like to think. I do. I have. I have three. I have two here. One of them has the impact. I just don't. I just don't want to send them off because then it'd just be me and somebody else. So I want three just in case at the door. But I do have an impact on scene if I can get somebody here. Right. I think they're talking about a counselor. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Like there's people trained. Uh, I'd go for his leg there. I would. Oh, That's not working. Yeah, that is now in effect. Back up, back up. I don't know what more we could have done. Uh, it's a matter of time before these parents end up dead. I don't dead like this guy. guy. And you know, I'm, I'm very proud. Yeah, he's a of fucking asshole. That we did, and I think when you look at the Object. sergeant, the way he ran that scene, <laughs> you know, don't go in, don't do this, don't do that, shift this way, shift that way, get enough resources on scene. That's um, what we trained to do. Uh, but definitely get an L for the way that he tried to shoulder the door. Yeah. The door. What, you don't know, shoulder him. This is not Hollywood. There are some windows there. Oh, we just let him close it? We're just chilling? <laughs> gonna go around. And at that point, why aren't you pulling back? Because now it's a barricaded subject with two hostages. So, either, so there's two, two things here. Either you're going in immediately and handling up, or you're treating like a barricade. Give the deck commands. Give the deck yeah. commands. Muzzle up. Oh, you gotta rotate on him. Muzzle up. This is, what are this we is the sheriff that's on scene right now. The sheriff showed up on scene and is telling everybody what to do. Come on. dad. Move that shipment to me. Take it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me. Come back. Oh, my. I'll back that deputy in the corner. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, well, Dad's it's out. Is Mom still in here? Yeah. Walk back to the deputy. Okay, we still got some. Hey, come here, Jake. I was like, I'd leave him there and just start OC in the hell out of that place. Or CS in the hell out of that place. What you got? Door's still open. Okay. Where's parents? Okay, I don't know that I'm a fan of uh, okay. weird do slow lethal of this window or whatever it is. Michael, come out! I'm a huge fan Michael, put your hands up! Give me a safety standpoint. 
You jockey in front. Hold pause for a minute. What you got? Are we all in field training? What's going on? <laughs> so pause it real quick. Okay. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of anyone above like a lieutenant probably running this. To be honest, yeah. I, I think the scene sergeant probably. I think the most a lieutenant's to too high. This. That's what I was getting at. That's the highest yeah. I would want to see. That's that's if the sergeant's just inept. But oftentimes your sergeant is the person running this scene. That is the most field experienced supervisor you are going to have. Oftentimes, especially in big departments, you're going to be very lucky to get a corporal on a call like this. And that would probably be the person running the scene. Or to be honest, in a good department that's doing good recruiting, Bill and I were fortunate enough to be in this place. It was just whoever showed up first because they had the most information. Uh, that yeah. person had already done the interviews, had already made primary contact. He knows everybody's name. He already knew the call text. He knew yep. everything. He's just telling everybody else what he needs. This top-down approach is not terribly effective. And this yeah. is a this is a gigantic agency. Oh, Volusia yeah. County, Volusia County is huge. So the fact that the sheriff comes on scene, and I just want you guys to know that the sheriff carries a revolver for his duty weapon. Of course he does. Oh yeah. He just <laughs> no. shield and revolver. You got this solved already, man. Uh, I don't know what's happening here. So it's just there, there's some weird stuff going on. Tactically, if a shield is present, if it's present, it's, it's the all you first need. thing in the stack. There's no That's... reason to move that shield anywhere other than that. You it's basic see, ready or not tactics right there. It's not complicated. That's it, right. When when the person holding the shield starts griping person standing in front of him guess what everyone does oh i'm the dumbass i need to move <laughs> the person with the shields telling me what like again it just you're it's just a weird this is weird and the problem is is it's because you have somebody that's probably not got a lot of at least recent experience handling scenes like this trying to dick what are they gonna do that's their boss's 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 boss the guy that's yeah. gonna say oh no yeah. sheriff i'm gonna stay <laughs> And then there now you have an argument instead of handling the scene. I do have an issue with this. Uh, you never pretty much ever got where we came from, anybody but a sergeant trying to take over a scene like this. They would just say, what do you got? What do you need? Uh, <laughs> damn, what is going on? Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for monetizing the unmonetizable stream. I appreciate it. And Blank Forge <laughs> said, Sheriff Juan. <laughs> I need to find, I have a little toy Sheriff badge somewhere. I'm going to need oh, to find God. it. I'm just going to wear it on we're stream. Gonna go, we're going to go full stolen valor with, with Let's Juan. go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what is this? What is going on? Make some announcements. What? Why are we Why breaking the blinds? You're already in. Near him? Yeah, I was like, yeah, well, at this point, okay, I'm one guy in, everyone needs to get I'll in and you need door. to control that space. I like how he has both hands on his back <laughs> to make it even harder yeah. to get to his revolver. Wait, is that a battering ram? It is. Is he holding a taser on a door that's shut? Probably. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get it. I feel better about it now. Go. I was like, what are we doing? I like that the guy shouldered the door when there's a battering ram right there. Sheriff brought that, though. Oh, did he? Okay. Still no, I'm, I just made that up. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's why there's no. Oh, no, no. Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Bro, shout out to Whoa! That guy. Hey, see? Holy shit! Up. That's all I'm saying. Shield guys got this, bro. That was, the, that was the best piece. Hey, let's secure the knife. Everybody doesn't need to go hands on. Let's secure knife. You have superhuman strength. I mean, you're tasing him, and he's not going down. No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Your taser guy? didn't hit. <laughs> Fuck me, superhuman strength. What the? the what are we doing? Sean, is it fun to hit somebody? They go down. He doesn't go down. So is this the sheriff that showed up? Yes. Like the guy, the sheriff that's talking? Okay. Yeah, he's a dumbass. <laughs> he also just said that tasers make people go down every time they hit him. So. Oh, and beanbag runs. Oh no, we'll have proof of that. I got two videos that I dropped in the end of podcast that'll prove it. <laughs> Um, I, I don't need any more of listening to this guy talk. Um, shout out you should, yeah. you should see him show up on a pursuit. It's hilarious. All right. With his little revolver. Uh, shout out to the, the officers that You'll actually have to drop got us a link. rushed. Uh, they did try for the taser, which is a win. I think that you should always try to, if you have an opportunity to. Uh, they That's why you point 
lethal cover on an unknown threat area is because out of nowhere, within seconds, that unknown threat area can become a threat area that officer figured out, hey, maybe we should not just be pointing a taser at this closed door. Point a lethal force at it. It's probably what saved them from getting stabbed. Uh, and then um, the first officer that was like, hey, let's get, his, let's get this knife away. Literally the first contact officer who was hands took the first knife out and then shield guy like <laughs> crushed the other one out. I, the hands team on that actually did a pretty good job. I will give them a shout out for that. They handled up and, and didn't just stand there and stare at him. They realized that the suspect was at least incapa- incapacitated temporarily and went hands on. Um, this is just a really big take up. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Blankford said that sheriff sounds like every pyramid scheme guy. <laughs> Jacob said MLMs for life. <laughs> he's going to be the new Flex Seal commercial guy. He's going to be. There you go, yeah. be. So uh, a... thank you. Thank you, Jacob, for the super chat. But uh, this is a big reason why having training at, at the P1 level, by P1, I mean this is a non supervisor, not a field training officer. Your lowest ranking officer should be able to handle that scene out of, out of field training, not out of academy, because nobody can handle that scene out of academy. But. <laughs> If, if and if you <laughs> if you have a desk, maybe you should stay at it. <laughs> um, you really need to rely on the more experienced officers that are doing this every day because you're going to be a little less stressed out. Uh, you're going to be a little bit more recently experienced with this. Um, it's just that you should be able to lean on that type of stuff. And if not, it is an issue with recruiting and it is an issue with training. Uh, Horatio... Oh. V- how do I say this? Velveteen. Yeah. Velveteen. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Too many words. What's going on? Welcome to the uh, welcome to the, uh, the the podcast, my guy. He said that's his sheriff, and then he said a girl he went to high school with hit him while he was riding a bike. <laughs> Probably on purpose. <laughs> Shout out to that girl. We need a taste. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Explore, what's going on? It's good to see you. Uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Valet, Valentine, or however he says. I, I'm Velveteen. Sorry for up here. Velveteen. Shout out to you. Did you just I'm say sorry. Ovaltine? No, Is Velveteen. that what you said? No. <laughs> Valvoline? Is that what you said? <laughs> Valvoline. Uh, I'm sorry for your friend. Uh, clearly, we, we are not a terribly big fans of this guy. Uh, and so we're on your team. Screw that guy. Uh, we'll keep going. Uh, Axon, you're still continuing to invade <laughs> my existence. Shout out to this Dodge. Somebody asked for the channel. Shout out. Good job with dispatch, given the location. Now shut up, dispatch. <laughs> I can't wait to get that dispatcher on here. <laughs> I know. N <laughs> nine. Did, did he just say N seven? 97 himself. Oh, this is sketchy, dude. If only there was a button for that. Uh oh. Hey, let's, uh, they got guns in their hands. There it is. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Lord. Reno, can I tell you about shot? 1078. Well, that was super calm radio traffic. Both down. They're still shooting. And expedite Remza, please. No. Are you okay? Let's help this guy. Move. Just, just hold down. Okay. Hold down. I'm gonna need a turn hey, to get that one. Okay, watch behind me. I don't have Where one. I don't have one. Watch, <sighs> watch behind me. Oh shoot, I thought that was pointed at the ground. Have medical What's equipment behind on me? you. No, no. It's important. You at least a tourniquet. Oh. At least. What an animal. Yes. Especially if you're fat, you have so much real estate. That's what I'm saying, dude. By the playground. I'm being told. If you're north of like a like a 28 inch waist, you have plenty of room there for for equipment. A 28 inch waist. That's what I'm saying. If you're north. Who do you know that has a 28 inch waist? Dude. Hey man, I was like, that's what I'm saying. Anybody north of that should have plenty of real estate. 
I was thinking more like a thirty-six. Thirty. I was thinking. Yeah. Hey, now let's not let's not <laughs> crazy with the thirties. Thirty-four. You know? I feel like. Yeah. I feel like thirty-four. Thirty-four and above. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah, you fat. Hey, I was a thirty-four <laughs> when I was on patrol, and I fit a turn hey, on my belt. Right? I'm over a thirty-four. <laughs> it's all it's all hip muscles. <laughs> Yeah, I got big I, hips. I, I like to I tell got, myself. I got birthing hips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me and Shakira. This guy. I tell you what, this guy with the rifle here saved that officer's life. 100%. Uh, Jacob said, more room for snacks. Sorry, you okay? <laughs> yeah, hide him in your vest. <laughs> I, you know, I have a dump pouch full of gummies. Don't fucking move. <laughs> Uh, I am team moving this guy out of harm's way here. Okay, watch behind me. I, don't I think have he's one. still holding lethal on the watch, suspects, watch though. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because they I were think. still shooting back. Watch behind me. Let me know. Well, I think, okay. I think well, the guy who got shot. Back. Yeah, but he said they were both down. Yeah, he said they were both down, and then right after said they were still shooting. The, um, playground. So I think they, I don't know what that means, but I, I assume that means they were like, eh, eh, hey, you know? Hey, uh, if yeah. you got a bell or a tourniquet, bring it to me, anybody. Bell or a tourniquet. Something, we can make a tourniquet now. Have, it's the easiest thing to have on your belt, yep. dude. Have hey, anybody a got a bell or a tourniquet, bring it to me now. It's like this big. Yeah. Give me a belt, something we can make tight. Yeah, there's like three yeah, people yeah, back there. The I do. That happens way. all the time. Go I hate this for this very moment. I, I heard you were just walking towards it. Hey, come here. Come yeah. here. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I need Mr. Rifle here. Mr. Rifle here is needs where, where, to stay on the cover. Where, 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 you have civilians over there now. Step in front of this officer and hold the No, 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 no. This is no longer your job. That's not an officer. That's a civilian. That's what I mean. But I'm just saying, there's somebody trying to help. The bad one is upstairs to the right. God damn. Is that a civilian holding? Yep, sure is. He doesn't have one. He doesn't have one. Get the belt over there. Get the belt. Right here. Right here. Let's secure. Let's secure these guys here. Yeah, I got these civilians look like they're helping. Let's secure bad guys. I get it. It's a shitty situation. He's making do. Top, top left. Top left. I'm not gonna lie. I'd hold cover and wait for more cops before I'm walking up to two dudes with guns. Yeah, because I mean, I'm not gonna do bleed out. Yeah. I'm tracking. Uh, for 43. I got three armed citizens helping me cover. Good lord. Bro, that's when your city's holding you down, dude. Yeah. Hey, if I was looking for an apartment, this is where I'd move. This is where I'd move, dude. <laughs> These guys showed up. And we're at 335. We are code four with uh, Sarge. Not code what? What? <laughs> code four. Interesting. Four. Must mean something different we're here from. Yeah, maybe it means something different there. Code four means I'm shot. Yeah. All we hear is bleeding. Code four letter word. Is this was this in Reno? Yeah, it looks like it. Yep, Reno, Nevada. Officers. Like, Lord. What's the response time? Jesus Christ. Your hands where we can see him. Take that guy long. Take that guy long. Yeah, I got hands. I got hands. Roll to your stomach. Roll to your stomach. Good, Roll to your stomach. Good job on the guy that called hands. Oh, I'd love to feel bad, but I don't. Sorry. Yeah. You're just Imagine you being hurt. Yeah. It's crazy. Imagine shooting at a cop and then getting shot. Not a huge fan of handcuffing technique, but we'll live with it. <laughs> Let's handcuff. Oh my God, no. Probably needed two cuffs for old buddy here, but yeah. I like the one. Guarantee he doesn't feel those handcuffs. That's probably true. I didn't think about that. Damn! Had a drum mag. This is Mr. Number Two here. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Can you clear out of our line of fire, please? Go Wait, is that? To the side. To the side, oh, is that? <laughs> that is the most polite. Okay, ready? I, I, I don't want to say I've said it more hey, than that, but I've definitely said some salty things. He's a Minnesota transfer. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. He does kind of sound like it. <laughs> he does. Okay, wrap him up. Yeah, one of you is going to be hands. This is where slings are important. 
He looks like he's a little um. Yeah. Homie looks a little more incapacitated than the other. Two so far. Yeah. We're, we're good here. Especially so where the blood's building, coming from. The further stairwell, top left is the bad one. <laughs> okay, let's secure. Let's secure him before Cover, we search. Top, top of the stairwell, left side, number. Th That's yeah. What you got, if you got Yikes. numbers, what, what you want to do? Yeah, that guy's, that guy's gone. The way his arm just fell. <laughs> this guy's gone. I asked, would have been. Like to those civilians, y'all want to shoot somebody? Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> we got another one. Goodness gracious. Damn. So I wonder why, I think I wonder what the deal was with this call. I'll tell you what, they got hot fast. Does it give uh, us anything here? Especially with a rifle? Officers were responding to a call of suspicious circumstance. I guess they were doing like a gun deal or something like that. Please doesn't really it. say. It doesn't give us what the call text was. Uh-uh. Uh, it just says suspicious situation. Call. So. Dude, this is why you just got to, I don't know, man. You don't know when it gets sideways, and you don't get to pick when it gets sideways. Uh, code 4 with a search. <laughs> Still on the ground, bleeding out. Alfredo gets it. I would be pissed <laughs> if I was laying on the ground with no tourniquet, no nothing, and this guy's like, oh, we're cool. I'd be like, if you don't get on the radio and say, like, send everyone code, like, to be honest, and, and this is just, they're in the situation, and this officer was brave enough to be there and handle up. He handled up. He ended the threat and, and gave this guy time, and shout out to these yeah. fucking civilians. Those civilians were based as hell. Came out in their PJs. Go out there and go help. That's what I mean. But how did how did he know that he needed to traffic that early though? Yeah. He must have saw a gun. Yeah, I think he because when he got out of the car, he said two males with guns. So I think yeah. he saw oh, that rifle. Oh, okay, yeah, I think he See, saw the rifle. Guns, yeah. Um, I will say this: the um, if if you're kind of in limbo here, this is just free advice for anybody that's there, and you have an injured party and there's nothing going on, try to get that person out of there. I'm not saying that I'm super a fan of these civilians dragging this sergeant out and driving him to the hospital, but that might be the difference in between him dying and not. Um, the whole idea, and this is kind of the whole reason why there, there should be this urgency on securing the scene, and by that means you have suspects in custody. They're in handcuffs. They're secured. Is Until you accomplish that, you cannot provide emergency first aid. Uh, it's just not safe to do. And so it's kind of why I, I'm, I don't know why it took back up so long to get there. Sometimes that's just the situation. Uh, I am probably just a probably, busy fucking night. Yeah. So Man, it's uh, Reno. Yeah, it is Reno. And I totally get that. And there was and snow yeah. on the ground. So I imagine yeah. they're working a lot and, of traffic accidents. Just, this is why we talk about having backups come with you. Don't come up to calls by yourself. If that sergeant had gone by himself, he's for sure dead. He's a hundred percent dead. He doesn't walk away from that call. Uh, he's lucky he had an officer with him that had a rifle because that also could have ended very poorly for them if he didn't have a rifle. The uh, fact that, that also, he answered that call probably tells you how busy it was. 100%. Yeah, did, did you even have a sergeant acting as a back or whatever it is? Uh, I will say this. Uh, if you are a apartment complex living person and you hear what you believe to be gunshots, please do not get out of your apartment complex and rubberneck it. Because you make unless it you have a gun. hard, unless you got a gun and you're helping, right? <laughs> well, if you hear the cops yelling for help, maybe go help. Yeah. But yeah, maybe go help. Give it like thirty seconds. Just be very careful about doing that. Um, shout out to these guys that worked out. Uh, I think the civilians did the best job here, uh, yeah. just because they're not required to do any of that. Shout out to those guys for being there and and but carry a tourniquet at at the very minimum. A tourniquet. Israeli bandages are good to have on you. I'm not a huge fan of quick clot unless you know what you're doing with it. Um, but just have life. You're you are more than likely going to have to use life-saving material way more than you'll ever use your gun. You'll point your gun at plenty of stuff, but very rarely discharge it. But can't say how many times car accidents, stabbings, shootings, attempted suicides, all that kind of stuff. You just it's good to have life-saving equipment. Because your EMS is going to stage five blocks away while you're there doing it, and in the time it takes to do that, they could they could fire. Um, making sure I'm not missing anything. Explorer, it's still good to see you. Police dispatch, may I help you? Even shoestrings work. If it's good shoestring, you could probably make it work. Wouldn't be the greatest, but still good enough. Thirty-eight in college. There's some crazy guy upstairs, and he's waving around a gun. He's like banging on the windows. Okay, three, answered this call. I was about to say, I've answered this one more than once. <laughs> yeah, he lives there, but he's actually like 
I think he's well, yeah, we'll tell you guys a propane They're tank story <laughs> in the okay. after party. That fucking guy. Yeah. You know what unit number he's on, or? No, he's walking back and forth on the top. Okay. It's a good dispatcher. Keep the windows and doors locked, okay? You know what kind, of, what kind of gun it is? No, no, no. I have no idea. Okay. I've got two kids in here, so I'm not trying to find out. <laughs> does he look like a building resident? Or is this an unknown guy that just kind of came in? Does he look like a building resident? Yeah. What does that mean? He does, but I know that they've arrested him already. He's paranoid. I see he's paranoid just from it. Okay. <laughs> you know his name? Guillermo. Well, that's helpful. Gotcha. You know, <laughs> Medina. Oh, that's Guillermo. super helpful. <laughs> Shout out to this caller. So he does look like a resident. You can't, please. He's dangerous. Please. Okay. Oh, he's my he's husband. husband. That makes more sense. Yeah, and he's that sketchier now. now. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a sketchier call. <laughs> that story's changing a little bit. Is he under the influence of anything? No, he's just up there knocking on windows. He doesn't know where he is. It was like day three of the insanity. Okay, so you said your doors and windows uh, are locked, right? This is right? sketchy. Yeah. Okay, so he lives with you. We used to drive to these unit. calls, reading call texts. Uh -huh. Like, this is a setup. <laughs> yep. We used to, you used to get these. And, mothers, and I don't know what the hell he's doing here. He's a third time in the world. He's showing up. Gotcha. I think he's got a gun. Okay, so he's... I don't know anything to do with this. Wait, wait, he's saying he's got a gun or you saw a gun? No, he's, got, he's holding something in his way. Okay, so it's in his way. He's not waving it around. No, he was. Makes a difference. He his hand, and he was like shaking his, like waving his hand. You know, like when you walk, your arms kind of swing. I kind of wish dispatchers could <laughs> give us like a seems like a reliable right, narrator right. or doesn't seem like we just get <laughs> call text. We don't get yeah. all the. Just put the oh, sus button. Okay. Like at the end, you could just be like, seems sketch. <laughs> seems sketch. Yeah. This is a great Still example like a of how callers change shit oh, yeah. mid call to the dispatchers. And the mm -hmm. dispatcher has to try and figure out what to like put through. Just don't get fake ones. They will break. Hey Josh, you know what you could do is drop a link to some good ones in the Discord. Come down with your hands up. I'll find some here. To walk to the sound of my voice with your hands up. I don't think I'm doing uh, that to no, a schizo cool. dude. He's at, the very, he's at the very west side. He's like, voices are coming for me. But he's right there. Get contact. Coming down, north side. Put your hands up. Caramel Medina. Put your hands up. Hey, hey push this way. Push this way. Get it inside the car. So what did he do? Hey, what happened? Oh, he just had a dog in there. He's paranoid because of Friday. You have a gun? Three days. He's a gun. You got a refuge medical. Go check this guy's house. He's walking like this. Wait, is it? Wait, wait, wait. 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 No way. Paranoid schizophrenic? No way they use they, meth. They say anything specific? No. Like, I'm gonna shoot Zero you chance. or anything? No. Or? We need to end this finally. We need to end this finally. It's a good interview. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's trying to articulate Can the offense. Are you terrified he's gonna hurt you? No. Ugh. <laughs> what? Come on, okay, bye. man. Cool, thanks, My kids are in the house. Okay, so were you terrified you was going to... I wouldn't let him in the house because I was worried. I would not let him in the house because I was so worried. I'm get, I'm, listen to me. Let's take a deep breath. Were you terrified he was going to hurt you with that gun? Yes, I was. Are you the back on He's waving it around. Oh. Did he say anything? We need just, end, he said we need to end this now and he's waving a gun. Been there. Okay. He's articulating it in the heat. Shut up. This is a great interview, dude. Yeah. This is the fucking officer's American crush again. He's going to be confirmed ADW. Subject was secure for a life safety. Subject was suspect of running a uh, weapon gun around. That's a good NED, dude. All day long. Still red at Romaine. Romaine? Oh, no. Is he in Hollywood? So, now you have a felony. Oh, God. He would have killed himself. Oh, he's going to And you can chase him. Oh, he's going to yep. Coinga Park. Why? He's going to kill himself. He's going to be every... This is now like is a semi low third check. No, he's going to park. Is he ever going to die in a shootout? He's going to be a quick park. Because he's from Rebels. That's wait, the gang of. Wait, wait, he's from. Wait, no. Rebels. 
He's from Rebels, but like he said, what park? He's down to 20 miles an hour. Oh, he's dying. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. That was that's good to have an earpiece. Yep. Oh, I hope they told him that he wanted to die in a gunfight. Yeah. Stop fucking running! He's reaching his way to the Yeah, I got him. Reaching his way to the Bro, don't run in a line. Do not run in a line. Thank you. He's reaching his way to the Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your fucking hands up! Gun in hand! Gun in hand! Gun in right okay. hand! You could have tackled him. Yeah. I was like, that was gonna, that's how that Yeah. Was Hands up! Hands up! The second the gun hits the hand, it's, it's a very different shot. Especially when you have a rifle. Oh, that. Mm. Eh. Well, that wasn't even that sucks. so. Yeah. That's and this is the lot. description for this video is that wasn't even in, on him, that was in his car. He had a cell phone in his hand. Oh. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks a lot. I don't know why I they didn't put it in the video, officer. but it's in the description. So uh, our first comment, I think. So that fucking sucks. This is mm -hmm. this is and this is an issue that I, I'm glad I'm glad we got this this video. Um, his wife killed him. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. His wife gave every indication that he was armed and suicidal and wanted to die. So let's say you're a cop, right? Yeah. And you're running to go detain this guy because you're nervous that this guy's going to go off and try to off himself in the middle of Times Square. Or traffic. somebody else. 100%. Homic suicidal turns into homicidal super quick. So you're <laughs> obligated to intervene at this point. You have all the exigency you need at the very minimum on the NED you're trying to prevent him from, preventing from hurting, hurting himself. And her inflammatory language led these officers to have no choice but to shoot this guy, right? Who... <laughs> Who do you think has to bear the weight of that decision? Yeah, that dude's going to be in therapy so, for a long time. Right? If not jail. If not, and, and again, mm -hmm. let's say this goes sideways. It's California. Yeah. yeah. Depending on who the DA is. Why? And, and this is really why I have this, this, this conversation. And why is there no culpability on the 911 caller for this specific instance? It's true. They literally have qualified immunity as a complainant they could say the most crazy outrageous stuff and it yeah. is way harder to hold that 911 caller accountable for giving atrocious information to an officer putting them in a stressful situation that leads to a use of force there is zero there's no riots over that there's no calls for accountability on that kind of stuff there are offenses in texas you have abusive 911 or filing a false police report but it's super rarely so ever hard forced and it's super hard to actually get that charge to stay. Yeah, the specifications are crazy yeah. on that. So my, as an officer, a bitch, your ass, dude. And and this was every single person that's wore a badge for any amount of time has been stuck in that situation where you got very bad call text from a very unreliable nine one one caller. But you're obligated by duty to intervene with whatever that situation is. Just watch out. Uh, towards the tail end of my career, I know that I started to listen to call text and start to be like. Maybe I'm staging on this one, or maybe I'm going to use different tactics or leverage. Always try to err on the side of exposing yourself to the least amount of uh, danger as you can. Unfortunately, some of these calls, like in this one, there's no choice. They yeah. have no choice but to go. But, no, uh, you're I, definitely I, I, going, but I think yeah, also yeah. you have to understand what domestic's like. How often well, are you working at domestic where it's 100% the truth? Yeah. yeah. Now, it's not always going to be like this, like, but... I don't think we ever worked a domestic where you got 100% of the truth. Yeah. I, I Literally, never. I don't know that I ever got a single domestic that wasn't incredibly biased information. from Or exaggerated yeah. to yep. Yep. a certain yep. extent. So it's just not... I, I, I have a real big issue with the way that law enforcement's required to go based off of that stuff and that there's no accountability for the 911 caller. And then now I'm not saying I, I don't want to discourage people from calling 911, but you need to be really deliberate about the type of information because there's going to be an elicited police response. And it just, I don't know. I've been on the business end where somebody's like, Hey, some guy's just yelling and I show up and he's got like an AK in his hands and whatever. You're like, well, that would have been good to know beforehand. Or someone calls and it's like, Hey, there's a guy trying to go and 
blow himself up, and the guy's like, I was just trying to take a dump. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and we're showing up pointing a gun at the guy and the whole, I don't know. I've been on the business end of that a few times. and it's just, I literally just had something like that happen. Yeah. That, that's what I'm getting at. So it just, it's not, I don't know. I, where's the hold the 911 caller accountable? Uh, By the way, new, new the, hashtag. Uh, wife, yeah. the wife is suing the city for uh, killing him. Of course she is. Nice. nice. So. All you'd have to do is walk into the courtroom and play that clip right there of her. Yeah. Whatever. Let's keep going. What is your emergency? Yeah. 3330 West Wales. That place Central. Guys are here with a gun. 3330 West Wales. Yes, ma'am. Hurry up. Okay, did he actually fire a shot, sir? Yeah. No, no, yeah. he's lying. Okay, I mean, sir, I'm not there. I'm asking you questions to get the help. How, where is the person with the gun? About three minutes ago. What a bitch. So he just fired shots? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, hey, you guys, oh, no, no. You guys gotta leave only veterans. No, sir, come on. Let's let's see your hands. Only veterans. Shit. Guys, on me, on me. Oh, that's a shitty situation. I'd be like, well, you, you wouldn't oh, believe God. what's about to happen. <laughs> Shout out to this guy's setup. Sir, let me see your hands. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Oh, he's got a gun. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also awesome. team. Sir, if you got a rifle. Sir, drop the gun. If you got a rifle, sir, do not contribute sir, drop donation the gun. rounds to business. We don't the want gun. anybody to get hurt, sir. Shots fired. Suspect oh, gone. Goodness gracious. Yep. Hey, get him out of here. Hey, sir, come. Come. Get out of here. Great team reach. security. Don't reach for anything. Get medical! Great Get security. Medical. Great scene security. God, what a shitty situation. This guy probably just wanted help. Yep. That's what I hate about this shit. This is why we don't go to the VA. I so and then obviously it's a hostage situation. Shout out to this officer for having the fucking nuts to take that shot. Tonight, you cannot, an unusual story. You cannot leave somebody at the Yikes. mercy of somebody willing to use deadly force against somebody else. You just cannot. Under no circumstances is it okay to sit there. And if anyone wants to give me pushback, oh, they should have negotiated. They should have talked out. Nah. They tried that in Uvalde, and it didn't work out that great. So there's a reason why if you start leveraging deadly force against other people, it's just never going to be an excusable thing. Regardless, it's the same thing for law enforcement. If there's no justified reason to do it, why are you leveraging deadly force? Um, that being said, I think there's a big discussion to have around the VA. And some of the things that, and and this, we ran into this a lot, where you'd have soldiers coming back and veterans coming back from God knows the most atrocious shit you can expose a human being to, and getting shit zero help. And the problem is, is that this person just spent five to ten years of their lives learning how to do nothing but be a violent human being, and then you try to just reintegrate them into society where they're told to go pay their taxes and sit down and shut up and do whatever with no mental health help. I don't know. It's bad. Uh, that that's probably one of the worst. The, the the majority of the homeless population that's out there, and these guys have very deep, dark, intrusive thoughts. That I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a, I don't know. It's a shitty situation. <laughs> Fucking producer. <Ron. laughs> no, they announced. I don't. No negative there. Yeah, they announced. They announced. Alfredo gets it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, dude. You got to be bleeding on the ground for ready or not to let you have it. <laughs> I guess that's true. You got to be sergeant in the ice or whatever he was. Yeah. <sighs> These are always fun. I hate cars and parking lots like this. Oops. I don't, get, I don't have any audio. Yeah. Ma'am? Okay. Is the door unlocked? Is it Apple Watch for robbery? Yeah. Uh, Unlock. Okay, so. It's an empty gun. gun. To the, uh, at least to the trunk. No, 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 no. Let's move the gun. Let's move the gun completely away from this. <laughs> what do you mean? It's <laughs> safe on the trunk. It's not safe on the roof. Safe on the you trunk. You can't reach it two feet away. Free advice uh, from a former police officer. Let's not leave a gun. Just, just chuck it. Yeah, that would, that would get you talking to. Wake up, buddy. In the academy. Wake up, man. Keep your hands up. Wake up. 
Sheriff's office. Hey, okay, why are you trying to light in my face? Wake up, buddy. Put your hands up so we can see him. Put your hands up so I can see him. What's going on? I'll talk to you in a second. Step out. Step out, man. Step out. I don't like any of this. They're out of your face. Step out. He has to see his target. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout out to this guy for getting out of that. He's getting Leon, behind step that out of the seat car. Door. See, this is the safest place he could possibly be here. I still have eyes on. Step out or we're going to pull you out. Step. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Ooh. Oh, that was quick. I, I have very little sympathy at this point. Cease fire! Cease fire! HQ shots fired by police, shots fired for police. I've been hit. Start rescue 1068. I don't know. There's already somebody yelling. Nice wow. reload. Dude, no kidding. Um, this is why we're looking for hands. This is why we're looking for that type of stuff. Um, I get why they're announcing you're waking somebody up. Uh, I'm probably not team immediately wake up and try to drag him out of there for that reason. He needs. You do owe it to the suspect to make sure that they have verified that you're law enforcement, because if not, what's the difference between that and getting robbed? Uh, I think that they gave him plenty of time to be like, clearly he knew he was dealing with law enforcement. They were saying, get the flashlights out of my eyes. From a use of force standpoint, having the body cam where you're saying, hey, this is the police, you need to come out, you need to come out, let me see your hands, let me see your hands. That's going to be... I, I, I don't like that they had to be second... You know, in starting the firing, I'm hoping that guy gets to walk away from it. But that's, I don't know. That's, that's as, I don't like saying it's a clean shoot, but I mean, that's a completely authorized use of force. Bill, is this like propaganda? A... Uh, ask Juan. Yes. <laughs> I it also want to like give propaganda. bonus points that I think only one of them was actually giving instructions, which is great because you don't want three people telling the sleepy guy different stuff, which but can yes. be fought in court. Yes. Too many people talking is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Sergeant George, I agree. Also, Explorer, that is a very good uh, observation. I'll be honest. Once you get somebody like that, I'd be like, show me both of your hands. I'd be grabbing those hands and dragging them out if you could. Yeah. I don't know that. Honestly, the second you lean in there to go do it, you're probably taking a round in the face yep. as quickly as that happened. So as much as it might make sense to sit there and try to drag them out, maybe choosing not to do that probably saved one of those officers' lives. If if they wanted yeah. to drag him out, they should have like tased him first. Or something. Because okay. they've they've exhausted their verbal commands. You just go right to taser, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh we saw that ended with the guy who got shot in the parking lot when officers thought he was suspected in the pre previous video. Yeah, there it is. I know, you gotta notify it just and it's a weird, but it's a script you should have if you're gonna be doing cop stuff. You have an obligation to notify the people that you're interacting with. You're, what you're doing is you're trying to cover yourself legally. If there is a use of force that comes out of any situation, I did my part of notifying. I'm clearly in uniform. I'm on duty. This person knowingly and intentionally decided to use deadly force against a peace officer in the commission of their duties. That's how, that, that's how you want that use of force to read. But that requires you acting on that part, especially with body cam. Let's go watch this propaganda. Yeah, Taser says their new Taser 10 is going to change the world. I did not include that video because that was vomit-inducing. But this one's... Oh, we got a Bobby? <laughs> enough. It's already cringy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I one's like, enough cringe. I, I like the level 2 retention of the Taser holster. I love that they pull it out. They do this in the like, like convention, like, whenever they do the live show, too. I hate these. They pull it straight out of a bucket of water. Oh, that's like a thousand feet away? Uh, no, sir. Supposedly, it's got a 45 foot range now. I love this is my favorite part right here. Yeah, yeah but you I can't dry stun anymore. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Really close. You're getting your ass beat. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that. that's going to work. That's one. Let's see. Oh, he instantly stopped. Oh, third probe. Yeah. Momentum doesn't exist, Josh. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> People running at you just like freeze. Oh, it's got a strobe feature. I tell you what, mm -hmm. the cinematics in this are pretty Gucci though. I'm They're epic. This is top tier. I'm giving them a 10 out of 10 for the marketing material. 
Yeah. The realism. Well, yeah, I mean, when you have the law enforcement world by the balls, you have it, as much marketing money as you need. Yes, yeah, you do. Like oh, the no, rain he drops fell on the are pipe. perfect in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I believe how it works is like you shoot one probe and then you can aim your second probe where you need it to go, and that's it the still idea. Still won't go there. I tell you, you what. Don't. I hope one of these days I can challenge the makers of this taser. <laughs> that uh and I'd, I'd find a sponsor to be like okay i'll give you guys ten thousand dollars if you could take me into custody with nothing but a taser in your hands i want to buy it so we can I'm use it on our you, patreon subs be like i know i want i want them blank I'll forge blank forge like, will volunteer to do it <laughs> i think he already has i'm pretty sure he has yeah yeah unarmed and you know the first thing i would do i'd put on a jacket and some like carhartt jeans mm -hmm. like all right boys yep. Good luck. I'm about to beat you on the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly defeated. All right. Y'all enjoy this. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, right now with the MGM Grand, we're in the convention center, and uh, we're here with Axon trying out their new weapon system, the new Taser 10. The so Taser this is the new magazine uh, for the Taser 10. Yeah. 10 cartridges instead of just two. The biggest no dry stun. Individual yeah. shot. As that is kind of baller. I think fantastic, especially because we use. Yeah, like, see a but like dry stun is. So I'm excited to see how it works out. Is dope. I just did oh, no, no, two no, no, rounds no, no, of my heart. No, no, no. You're gonna miss every one of those shots. You're not gonna be sitting there lighting. <laughs> the, um, the speed. And then not hitting for that. I don't think he hit. Distance capabilities were just amazing. The weapon's definitely gonna take down your target. Uh, it's going to make it more effective, it. and uh, it's going to be easier for the handler to utilize it and to make safe. Definitely taking law enforcement to a whole new These level. are the employees. Seriously, I, I would challenge the them. I said, we get to pick, for control pick a topic, pick a place. Uh, I think it sets I, us I'm up for the highest level of success, so absolutely I'd recommend it. Carhartt jackets, <laughs> fucking pants. I'd be like, hey, I'd like to punch you in the face if this doesn't work. We realized it would just be so much simpler. Okay, here we go. Here's the guy that explains how it works. So the any range. And he pulls it out of the freaking bucket of water. Can I get a tank? You should have done that before. Yeah. No, no, I want it straight out the bucket. All right. So at any rate, if right? I'm getting close, and don't shake it, dude. Darts in the legs. And if I'm much, much further back, I still have full control. Goodness, could you imagine getting hit with that? I don't have the what a bad day. He's so mad. Can you imagine being this employee? That's just your job every time they do a presentation. So why did it take so long for her to lock up? Then there was like... Yeah, it's two trigger pulls. For the, mm -hmm. you, get, you get two different spots. Yeah, but he shot four times. What's the most effective thing? Yeah, it's not great. Like, what? <laughs> I wonder if it's a different thing that actually tases versus the trigger pull, because clearly you can't have it be the same thing. Yeah. That was, that was three? Did he say reliability? Yes. Yes, he did. He 100% said reliability. Oh. Dude, they have like a seven minute video where they talk about like the process of designing it and all and all they talk about is like the reliability and the main complaint we get is that there's not enough cartridges. I'm like, I guarantee you that's not the main complaint you get. So the, the problem is too, is like, and, and you have to articulate this in use of force, right? So let's say uh, it, it, like with the, the recent one that came out where you had two different taser probes, right? Let's say it works out, you get lock up, you're doing great, you get the NMI that you want or whatever. Um, and I have to reshock the guy. Every subsequent reshocking of that guy, I have to justify as to why I thought that would work better than the last time I tried it. Same thing with verbal verbal commands. When we say, well, when I told him 15 times to show me his hands, right? At a certain point in time, like you got to shit or get off the pot. Same Imagine trying to reshock him and you shoot another probe in him on accident. That's what I mean, dude. Also, I can't wait until these go out to whoever is going to use them and we get to break down videos where they shoot 10 probes and they still don't lock up yeah that's Not what really. i can't wait for Dude, and they're moving right. towards you while you're still shooting because yeah. that's how you were trained <laughs> and, yep. and they're aiming for limbs yep mm -hmm. it's gonna do oh right. yeah God, dude, you're just going to get your ass beat with that, dude. Yeah. That is in the... And, it, and, and it's the reason... The, the frustration I have with this is if they were selling it as an aid, you don't see guys selling beanbag rounds as ways to get got people into custody. They say this is a tool that can help you have standoff distance when you're trying to get a suspect to be compliant. That's it. 
they're not saying it's going to help you take them into custody easier. The, 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 the sales material around that is honest, right? Same thing with people that sell body armor, right? Is that it'll stop up to X amount of bullet. It'll increase survivability. It does not make you bulletproof. That would be disgusting sales material if they said that because it's not true. Um, they're acting like, and even then, they're acting like just getting the lockup is an arrest. I was like, no, getting them in handcuffs is the arrest. Yeah. And like, this doesn't help you accomplish that. Because um, we've like, watched I'm, countless videos of people full lockup. Yeah. Cops don't for whatever reason, go in and handcuff, and then mm-hmm. more shock. More shock. Shout out, shout out though, to this, the marketing guys for this are crushing it. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. They're getting every penny worth of their contract. Yeah, they Come are. talk to me over here. Okay. Right here? You want to talk to me right here? Want... I don't like that guy that just kind of trolled out. For listen to me. Anto- okay, okay. I got you. I'll talk to you. They can't go far, though. Antonio, listen. Okay. This is the former Buccaneers player, Antonio Brown. Yeah, crazy oh, motherfucker. Antonio Brown. Yeah, no, we don't. Right here, we don't. Uh, we don't want to take him. He's a former Steelers okay. player <laughs> and a Raider. <laughs> yeah. You want to crack it a little bit? You want to go to the window? Uh, it's not a terrible idea not to open your door. You're hey, Antonio. Trouble you're not in trouble. My standpoint. Okay. Okay. Well, they got a warrant for his arrest. Okay. Uh, well, they're getting. Yeah. What's the warning? He barricaded. So it's uh, for domestic violence. So he threw, oh. apparently threw a shoe at his wife and it hit that her counts. ponytail. God, that counts. So if she, she said it hurt and caused pain, unfortunately. She did that, not. Yeah. She actually said it did not injure her, but she thought it was meant for her head. So <laughs> that'll do it. That'll do it. That's enough. Good enough. In yep. most places, it's enough. I do mm-hmm. domestic. I understand and appreciate why it's there, but like. There's a lot that are like on the line that are kind of. And I actually think just, at this point they don't have a warrant for his arrest. She's just trying to get some stuff, and they're huh. like investigating what happened. And this is the reason he gets a warrant for his arrest. I had the I had the article pulled up. Let me, let me double check that. I'll, I'll, I'll talk. Because it was a confusing situation. Okay, so I can hear you. You know what I mean? They're they're over there. It's only me. I'm, but they I'm spent right four here. hours you're talking to him here. Man. Luckily, you, that's not you know, you, all on you video. You remember here. me, right? Yeah. Yeah, you remember me, right? I wrote. Yes. Yes. Okay. I wrote the re- I wrote the report for you. Remember that, right? The whole time I was cool with you, right? Okay. So let's just talk. Let's let's. What a nice pad, okay. dude. You want to talk to me on the phone? I'm on my phone. That's a good de-escalation technique. Mm-hmm. I'll talk to you on, on the, the phone. phone. Yeah. That makes you feel okay. comfortable. Do you have a, you have a screen on the front door? The, the force the I mean, just so I can talk to you, so I can hear you. Taylor, what's going on, my dude? You want to go front did door? Did the guy just deliver Grubhub? Yeah, yeah. He probably did, yeah. Yeah. In the front door. Yeah, they brought him food. Oh. It's only me. I, I can't hear you. You too, brother. You want you want to just crack it a little? It's, it's, just, it's only me. I mean. Shout out to having the door. <laughs> it says the body camera right. video. An officer who's that area was already attempted to speak with Brown several times in an attempt to retrieve the victim's personal items so from the home. So let's do this. Can we at least let's give her back her ID and stuff real quick? Can we do that? Is that all this video is? Oh, you don't have it. It's talking oh, through uh, the door. Uh, I think so. Yeah. So we can skip through a lot of it. Of this, can you just give me one second? But let me just tell you this. I don't want this to happen, okay? So I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you man to man, okay? Man to man. No, no, I will, but look, just hear me out first. Listen, listen to me. Between me and you, if you don't let her in to get her things, I'm telling you, because it's out of my hands. But I'm just warning you because I'm telling you man to man, okay? If you don't let her in, I'm telling you, if she wanted to have that dude do the lock thing, they can't can. stop her. That's shared property. Listen, yeah. If she does that, she's technically still a resident here until the eviction mm-hmm. process is, because there's still seven days left on the eviction. Domestics but, are the but worst. But listen to me. Yeah. And w- listen, you're not in trouble. You're not getting. Re- I, I know. I know. But I want you to hear it from me. 
We need captions. No, I believe you, but listen. I know. I don't know. I've only I only got here five minutes ago. Huh? Okay. Why don't you turn them on? Hey, um, what's your name? Bro, this is over an ID. Bring your feet. I'll bring your feet too. There's no way the captions would pick up his no. voice coming through Dude. that window. Yeah. <laughs> She's walking up. Her going in. Super. No, no, he, he's got to be. He's got to be close. He's got. He I think to when be. it goes dark, that's he when they start talking he's about not like come in. He's the gonna arrest and right up in here. Like going into arrest him and all that. It's stuff. only me, Antonio. Just so we could be done with this, man. I tell you what, celebrity food is super just paranoid, totally man. Like super. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't be approaching a potential domestic situation. He's like afraid. He's so. I mean, that's the only thing. Mr. Brown. That's not a legal issue. Listen, she's gonna leave. I'm gonna stand by the door. I will not come in your house. Okay. Uh, dude, only, shout only out to Kenny, guys. I could die this. This is, I would hate this. She will I think leave. this is Tampa PD. Mm-hmm. This it is all is. Simple, I wouldn't want to pee any part of this. Bro, this is so petty. Get a new ID. It's the principal, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say no on that. It's her fucking house. Oh, agree. Oh, if it, especially if it's her. Like, I don't know. It, like, if she's still is, allowed to be there, I'm gonna walk away. fuck that. Go in the well, house. Have, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Three kids together too, I so I don't know if the kids there. are still in the house. Yeah. You have no reason, like this dish. Her getting in and out of that house should have nothing to do with law enforcement. But like, if if she's nervous or he's nervous that there's going to be some sort of assault or whatever, like you can't navigate want, this as adults. You know, we don't want to fight with you. You know that. And I feel for this guy because he probably has super CTE or whatever, which is why he's crazy paranoid or whatever. But like, <laughs> these kind of civil situations are stupid. These are should not be difficult to navigate. Oh, we're angry at each other, but you want to get your stuff. Like, can you not navigate that without having issues? Like, said, it'll be yeah, such a friend. Okay. I don't know, dude. I hate this stuff. Adults can't be adults. But you know what I mean? Like him seeing you and stuff like that, probably not a good idea. All right. That's, well. Doesn't matter. Dumb. We'll keep going. I hate domestics. It's literally just adults not being able to navigate interpersonal relationships. Oh, I love this shit. What is this? Shout out to Axon. This is a child predator who's coming to to meet a kid. <clears throat> Why is it so glitchy? Because it's, it's a body to two and not a body three. Oh. Oh. This body cam's rough. Looks fine on mine. You might just have internet issues. Yeah, me too. Playing smoothly here. Oh, there it goes. It looks fine on YouTube. Yeah. You look fine on YouTube. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hold on, this is annoying. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Are you? Do you refresh there this? There he is. I thought I did. I just refresh it real quick. It was like stuttering for me. <laughs> Say George, thank you. I'd appreciate that. Good job. Yeah, every time I have to do body cam breakdowns, I need Jesus just that much more. <laughs> the phone right now out of the car yeah uh, yep. you want that evidence absolutely you want that evidence i'm sure they have all the evidence already triple quadruple check that. i guarantee he was just talking to a cop the whole time oh yeah shout out to uh it's the refuge medical I, I shared their link over there uh they uh with their uh spare money and profits they uh Fund these type of things. She's coming here, right? <laughs> and they volunteer to catch predators. She's coming here, Shout right? Out to those guys. As what you should. Huh? Do you want me to take I said, another card? I said it like way so earlier. The oh, okay. Medical. In the chat? I'm not staying with the car. Yeah, just in the chat. Yeah, I'm just walking. Okay. Good okay. chair. Yeah. You had it in the same when I walked up on him. Where is it now? I did it again. There it is. Boom. I just want to set it down so I can take him out and put him in handcuffs. 
I'm not sure showing up. Are you on your, your personal account or are oh, you on the yeah. Okay, then you're not going to be able to because you're not a moderator. Oh, it sent it. I know, it shows on yours. It's not going to show for anybody else. Uh, oh, you got to do it through the only cops <laughs> account. I see. I could make you a mod, but. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, don't, uh, don't uh, try to meet kids. Uh, don't be into kids. It's just not a socially acceptable. Why is he? Where's he going? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Trish is coming here. What? I'll stay here with the car. Got me. Uh, Oh, he's got a canine. <laughs> We're gonna tell him, so if you do, just take custody, just stay here and keep rising. Yeah, I'm gonna stay right here until All right. everything uh, is done. Yeah, oh, yeah, and custody is important. Oh. Yep, I no appreciate worries. you guys staying. Yep. So we don't get charges kicked. Yeah, because you missed one signature. One. Kick it. And then he gets to go be a little pedophile for a little longer. Can snort that on street. <laughs> hey man. Anything else happens? He doesn't fight or anything. No. Well, he's already in handcuffs. So. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of legal precedents for uh, setting up stings and stuff like that. Driver's seat. This is just a sure feel-good video. Yep. No, I got you. Yeah. I'm guessing this is the detective. He's sitting right there. Well, they have a great job. I couldn't do it. I could not do that job. Because I told him to put it down. Yeah. Him in hand it was hacky or crimes against the unit that we had. I could not do uh, that. Part open when yeah, I we just have our sex crime or sex crimes I unit do all that stuff. The... No, I could not. To keep it awake, I have to have a passcode. Yeah, I don't know how they. I don't know you how sure do. The IT guys at the evidence lab sleep can sleep break into it. They'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, they, they can break into it. All you need is a warrant. I had a guy, uh, I have another story time. You guys remind me of Propane Pink Boy. I'm going to stretch you again, then, okay? Uh, Inside there, except I'm going to take my robbery time. Robbery turned into okay? appropriate relationship. If I do find something in your, I have a good story your, for this. you know, person that you're not telling him about, it's another charge on you, okay? So you might as well be, be up front and tell me right now if you have anything on you. You don't have anything on you? Okay. Go ahead and move to your left. Search incident to arrest. It's going to be kosher. If they find anything. What's your name? Regan. Could have done that before he was in the car. 100%. I think the jail's probably doing their own, maybe. I think yeah. that was a jailer. Yeah. That's the jailer speech. If it comes in here yeah. and you don't tell me about it, tell me where it is. Because then it's an extra charge. That's in worse Florida. than having it on you. Yeah. yeah, in Florida that's a felony, is introducing any contraband. Same mm. here. It could be a pair of toenail clippers or something like yep. that. And if you conceal it and try to bring it in there, it's a big no-no. I had a dude butt smuggle five grams of meth into the jail on me once. Ooh, Ooh. squat and cough. Yep. Squat and cough, my dude. Did it come out during the squat and cough? It was like in his cheeks. He didn't shove it up. <laughs> <laughs> but just squeezing real hard? I mean, I wasn't searching that part of him, so. Should have submitted the video I sent you, the traffic stop. Properly. Properly. On how, how to do, do a traffic, traffic stop properly. Caleb, I, I will. Uh, no, it's probably coming from him. It's probably something egregious. <laughs> <laughs> You're part of Patreon. You can send me whatever you want. <laughs> Plug. Plug. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Uh, this uh, this low ready's an auto theft suspect. <laughs> Is he sleeping or what? Yeah, they called. They got a call of a guy sleeping in his car. And this is a stolen car? Because they ran it. Yeah, they ran it, and it's a stolen car. Oh, okay. I get it. It's a high risk takedown now. Especially after that other video we saw. Look at good police tactics, baby. He's in a car, and we're gonna detain a car with a car. I'm proud, dude. Don't be a dweeb and turn on your headlights, because that might wake him up. And use your push bumper. That'll save your car just a smidge. Shout out to these guys. It makes it makes Papa Josh here happy to watch them. Oh no, you didn't pin it in! <laughs> oh. What the? Oh. Wanted to get it closer. <laughs> just wanted the walk back to be a less to walk him to. 
Yeah, have fun. Have fun with that pursuit. The doors are This is a stolen car, and I team busting out these windows and ripping this guy out of his car. Yes. Hmm. Ah, my guy. He's saying he gets it. Did he steal this from a dealership? What did it say? Peak Kia. It's a rental. Oh, okay. Yeah, no tag. It's like a loaner, not a rental. Yeah, it's a loaner. Looks like a fleet vehicle. Now with that it's number on there. Yeah. That seven on there. It looks like a fleet vehicle. 41 Adam to a sergeant. I'll tell you what, dude. <sighs> I'd pray strike strips in front of those tires. Yep. I do not want to get in a pursuit here. He's Thank you for pursuit. asking permission. <laughs> yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, hey, Sarge, is it cool? You know what's smart about that, too, is if Sarge says yes. It's not your you, fault. Your report gets to read a per It's my fault. Shot. <laughs> it's my fault. It's not your fault. Yep, yep. I'd rather tell the chief or the sheriff why that happened. Also, shout out to having a glass breaker. Batons suck at breaking windows. I, I vote three swings, at least. Be very impressed if this is done in one. That's tinted. Count them up. Place your bets. Do the non-tinted one. Yep. Do the non, do the front window and unlock it, and then do your business. If it's tinted, Good I luck. don't think they're gonna be able to break it all the way. Yeah. Check the door first. Don't just go smashing stuff. <laughs> Check the door. I have kicked an unlocked door. It's really stupid. Really. Three, two, That's three, three, already four. four. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Well, he woke him up. Show me your hands. Oh, Put your what? hands up. What? Use your left hand to unlock the door. Shout out, she figured it out. She's like, oh, we got guns pointed at this guy. Maybe she Unlock the door! Unlock the door! Oh, he bumped the lock, you see it? He used a screwdriver yep. to punch the lock mm -hmm. out. This guy's legit. Slowly He's not his first unlock car. the door. He's gonna take off, dude. You wanna try? I. So we're at four swings. Unlock the door. Five, I with think. Your left hand. Keep your right I hand. I, yeah, I counted it. Keep your right hand up. Six. There Unlock it is. The door. It broke on six. Shut up. Okay. The door locked right in the middle. Unlock it. Unlock it. Unlock it. That's good. Unlock it. Oh, dude, check out this. Uh, yeah, did you see that? Yep, she sure on. did. Bro, she's got training. Shout out to her. You got any guns on you? Knives? That is jujitsu 101 right there. She did it quick, too. Mm hmm. Why is this happening, officer? Alright, stand up. Here, sit on your butt. Stand up. Oh, gee, I don't know. Stand up. They start out Any butt. Guns on you, anything like that? <laughs> okay. We're gonna walk over here. Give me your best guess on why we ripped you out of a car. <laughs> Just guess. <laughs> a punch lock. <laughs> What do you mean? No What's point. wrong? Hey, uh, I will say this. Uh, you get a ding, dinged unauthorized use of force on the baton of the window just because it just was not a good idea. Have a glass breaker. But she realized, hey, we already got guns pointed. This if this guy at half a foot can't handle up with a pistol, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. She decided that she was going to be hands because he had a better angle on it. I don't like the crossfire situation here. Uh, with kind of how they set up on both sides of the car and the off chance it turned into a deadly force situation. But I do like the tactic of breaking out that back window um, and then go ahead and handling it that way to unlock it so they can get out of it. So they're not breaking glass in this guy's face. Yeah, um, That was pretty good. Uh, I also ding you for not pinning the car in. Huge ding on that. Like, you moved the car. Why not put it in front of the... I don't know. It's stupid. We'll keep going. We have had two shootings in two different I couldn't find one that was just the body cam, so we have to watch the news piece. A Luckily, it's a very short video. officers got wounded by gunfire during a traffic stop down in Mitchell. And up in Marion, police shot and killed a man who they say pulled a gun on them. Our Logan Gate tonight shows us body camera footage from that incident.
Take a look at this body cam footage. Shows a Marion police officer during a traffic stop with 34-year-old William White. Investigators say the SUV White was driving matched the description of an SUV from a shots fired call two miles away. You're you can see stopped. White getting out of the vehicle here. Hang tight in the vehicle, man. Then he oh, takes no. off. Come here. He's running. The officer chasing after him warns him to stop. Stop, please. You're going to get tased. The officer tases White, but it doesn't work. Crazy. Stop. Stay please oh, say it worked a little bit. Yeah. He tripped. And yeah. William White yeah. pulled out a gun. During a scuffle, the officer's body camera hits the ground. Good job, Axon. Oh, oh, Motorola. We, nice try. One shot from his body camera dropped. Uh, the officer's fault. And then murder. Uh, ultimately, uh, White died at the scene. Police say this is an outcome no one wanted. Uh, this is a tough thing to go through, and no police officer uh, wants to have to go through this. And, and we don't want to have to be the one knocking on the door. Uh, saying that, that someone's loved one's not coming home, regardless of the situation. So now was we that understand guy no not officers were involved? injured in that shooting. State police who are handling the investigation say the officer who shot the suspect is now unpaid. Doesn't really matter. He still pulled a gun. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, the body camera fell gun? off, so oh, we no, didn't yeah, see he, the whole. He pulled a gun, dropped the gun, and then picked it back up. <laughs> yeah. That'll so it's it. like, yeah. That'll yeah. do it. Not a fan of Akimbo, but I mean, he's stopping the guy yeah. by himself. That's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, that, matter. that short amount of time, too, because he went from yeah. pulling over the dude to like shooting him in like 45 seconds. It was crazy. Plank. We'll keep going. We're almost done. Guy manages to escape police three times in eight days. Shout out to this guy. On foot patrol when they observed a male subject standing in front of a bar in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Police were familiar with the male from prior contacts. Mm -hmm. and knew he had a suspended driving status, oh, as well as a bond condition to not be in any so bars Crosse, or Wisconsin taverns. Extended universe or whatever the male was identified as 27-year-old Larry Baldwin Jr. As the officers were near Larry's vehicle, they observed him hey, get into the Megan driver's Hall? seat and leave. <laughs> All back. Jeez. <laughs> Allie, stop that music. No lights out on third. It's Larry driving. That's Larry. Larry appeared to be traveling at a high rate of speed without any lights on. When a traffic stop was initiated, he pulled over briefly, but then took off rapidly. Third and Cameron, Wisconsin, Adam King Frank, 5827. Adam King Frank, 5827. Good traffic. Canted, put the, oh, that's pretty good. 80, the vehicle's taken off, southbound on third. Go! Due to safety concerns, the officer decided mm -hmm. not to pursue. Safety concerns. Four days later, police observed a vehicle commonly driven by Larry in an alley. Upon approach, the officers noticed Larry in the driver's seat and quickly put the car in gear, again fleeing at a high rate of speed. In a downtown area, you think they're going to pursue for that? Seventh and Main. Stop! Stop! Ooh, Stop! Oh, I guess they got the warrant. Stop now right now! Data. Stop! They need to stay backed up. I'm gonna be shooting right there. Uh -huh. He's leaving on the the cars. Just missed him. They're so chill. Another four days later, police were cool, dispatched to a bar for trouble with a party call. As officers arrived, they Can't saw several the people screaming and yelling too. outside. They also recognized Larry, and another male began walking away. Arrest me. Like, oh, the cops. What for? I don't know. Ask the guy who's recording me for no reason. No. You're standing out in the public arrest. area. For what though? I'm not Officer Graves. Due to Larry having huh? pending felony charges from the last few weeks, Multiple. they approached him. Come talk to me for a second. He's gonna. We got a call here at Old South. Well, you guys yelling at someone and. I'm not yelling at nobody. I'm minding my business. Okay. I'm minding my business. Larry, I gotta talk to you, man. 
Yeah, Larry knows what's up. That's not even my name, bro. Come over here right now. He's <laughs> Larry, knows, Larry, Larry knows what's up. What? Yeah, yeah these are my pants uh, either. So, uh, if, Come if here. he has a felony warrant, and you know who he is, uh, we're snatching this Come guy here. immediately. They're talking about it, they're not you. There he goes. Stop your name, it's hit. Oh, Larry, you got no wheels, Larry. <laughs> Larry. On the ground. Hey. Oh, 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 he let go of the shirt. Oh, oh, oh wow. Okay, him, bro. <laughs> Don't get hands on, dude. What are Larry's we doing? a bitch. Larry cannot run. What are it's we not working. Stop now. <laughs> what are we dude, doing? Larry's still beating him somehow. Everybody is drunk. Everyone's drunk. We're yeah. going to let him get to another car. Take yeah, off yeah, again. Just being right running off the fifth. White shirt, black pants. As the officers pursued him on foot, Larry ran back to his vehicle and got into the driver's seat. Of course he did. Oh, there he goes. Stop, Larry. Oh, no. Stop. Don't. I'm going to be honest. I'm probably snapping at these guys. Hey, do it. Stop. Hey, don't, 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 Oh, so here's shot. this chick. Oh. Can any of you answer that? Why are you targeting him? No, shut the fuck up. You guys have saw this. He has no warrants. He has nothing. Why the fuck are you wrong? Fun. I heard that's why we were here. He was recording, so she called us. I don't care about her. Recording. Yeah. That's one. That's a I'm sorry, but in Florida, he's not escaping three times. They saw a male flee from the car. Yeah, what's uh, okay. what, what happened? We were in our apartment down there and we heard squealing. We were about to leave to go hiking and we saw yeah, this car. So, might have been passed out so we were like, there might be a medical emergency okay. and we just walked over there. So I yeah, this car just took off from a fight down there at Old Style oh, So obviously, shit. he crashed into this thing. Yeah, yeah we just heard the crash. Yeah. Got something to pass out or something. He's gone. I don't no want to see him. Take off. No, no, we didn't see him. 39, he crashed down here. He's gone. I don't want to say I would have gone. Or have ever done that? <laughs> he smoked his tire. It's not legal. Almost a month later, La Crosse police were informed that Larry had been arrested by Wisconsin State Patrol in Monroe County. It took State warm. Patrol. Damn. The, the state boys got it done. He was then yeah. extradited oh, back to La Crosse County Jail. Embarrassing. The right I, bet they, I bet they caught him on foot. On him. Yeah. I bet they caught yeah. him on foot. Goodness gracious. Because Larry Shout can't run. Larry. Or they, Bro, or they Larry, pursued him like they should have. had negative wheels. Larry gets an. You know what? I can't. Second even, degree like, recklessly endangering safety times two. He tried four misdemeanor times counts of resisting, arrested. obstructing an officer, and bail jumping times three. He received nice. He received two weeks of several citations order. totaling over two thousand dollars. Larry's attorney asked the court that he be released on a signature bond since he turned himself in voluntarily. The no, judge he didn't. He got arrested, list, stating Larry showed a gross lack of respect for the community while fleeing. And set his cash bond at ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Wow. Man. Uh, and then Larry stole the police car. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that was missing. Apathy. What's going on, my dude? Also, partner gaming and perilous mastodon. What's going on, my guys? It's good to see y'all. Thank you to everyone who's dropped a like and is currently watching. We're almost done. Then I'll do some after party stuff. With I'm guys. tapping out after this one. So that's fine. Underway, viewers is a good one. Is always advised here, but we appreciate Start the chat, once boys. Again joining us here today, hey, fam. As, uh, not a Dallas. A live look here. Yeah, not gonna oh, happen. Dallas. Not a Dallas. No. Uh, this car here, as it uh, it's a Chrysler 300, is a lead of police like. here in this chase. As you can see, the driver reckless like right now, Beamer. going in and out of lanes at a high speed. Uh, Northwest Drive. Uh, speed Not right sure. now, and we'll continue to track it here. This is uh, featuring the Mesquite Police are uh, chasing a suspect through. Oh, this is I-30. On I-30, the suspect is in this black oh, sedan. Yeah, time, uh, I was like Northwest Drive. I know that. That's this is started here. not that far from my house. But, uh, we will follow it at every step of the way. Right <laughs> okay. When was this? Now from Fox uh, this was as yeah. always. Da, 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 da. Like a month ago, I think. Huh. Wait, when was it? Something like that. 
I tell you what, dude, he's really good. Right here there. with you on live mm -hmm. now from five. You gotta think everybody here is going like eighty five to ninety. Right <laughs> so minimum. So yeah. Oh, minimum, yeah, dude. Out of these lanes here, going at a high rate of speed. You can see that, uh, unfortunately, for the drivers that are being passed, they don't know what's going on and uh, are just probably thinking. That's a normal day in Texas. Driving. What are we talking uh, about? This is some uh, police. In the plenty of people ain't running. Yeah. Like, oh, I saw this like three times on my way home. Uh, so all of this was started by Juan? And yes. This safely here, yes. But so many times <laughs> we see during these police that's chases, right. well, uh, the suspect just he was trying to catch up to me. That's why he's speeding. <laughs> Real <moments> dance. <laughs> of freedom here. And you can see the police said, I'm not mad, uh, I'm vehicle just right behind uh, this suspect here as they look like to get onto another ramp here. On the expressway. I just want to know what time of day he was doing this. That he actually doesn't have any traffic blocking him. Pretty decent, yeah. I'm gonna put that car into a to a concrete barrier. 2:08 p.m. That's what time it was. That's bull crap, dude. Every time it says. So they have traffic. That Tahoe is like trying so hard to keep up. Maybe it was the week before or the week between Christmas and New Year's. There's no Maybe. possible maneuver for boom, boom, a pit boom, maneuver. Boom, they would boom, never boom, do that on a highway. And uh, I would. Go above 40, there's no way that you could do safely a pit maneuver. Hey, shout out to these guys. I want a bet, bro. Yeah. Have you ever seen a car pitted at like 80? Yeah, we just watched it last yeah. week. Yeah. Wasn't it like 100 and something? Yeah. It was not good. Yeah. It ended up in a, in a yeah. ditch. Yeah. yeah, it killed a kid. We did, mm -hmm. we did that uh, at the training. Uh, of course, like pit box skid pad just, uh, yeah we flipped the crown vic oh yes oh that's cool oh that motorcycle shit in his oh, pants motorcycle. right now oh, no kidding <laughs> he's complaining about the, uh, the camera there's a producer one complaining yeah the suspect is going compared future only cops the vehicles episode. want to evade the police on the and highway here before. As, uh, <laughs> keeping a close eye He's like, really? No hands-on skills? Yeah. Really? A taser? That's right, yeah. Really? <laughs> Why is there only one car? I don't know, dude. He's pretty zoomed in, though. That the other cars could be, like, just not, like, giving themselves some standoff. Yeah. yeah. They don't rear end the hell out of this guy. Like, uh, so high rate the speed, you just I can see, like, what could happen THP, so like, take a point on this. DPS oh, right there. There it is. Yep. Out of the Dallas area. Right now, that white hood. State yep. troopers come rolling in. Bro, you can cue uh, no word you like the this, rave uh, music. Uh, you know, bro, you know <laughs> that state boy is on the radio right now. Tell this guy to get out of my way. I'm taking lead on this pursuit. <laughs> Look at him. He's getting closer. Here he comes. He's in a charger. I think it's an explorer. Yeah. He says, I'm overtaking. Oh, yeah. They don't. They're trying to phase out chargers from DPS. Was able to make a move the sketchy there maneuver there. Truck that, uh, Bro, that there he goes. That, that trooper slower. wants it. And, uh, That's a hungry car right there. How this will all to be fair, the here, troopers probably got the more here. capable like vehicle. Do they have wraparound? Uh, uh, some of them do. Some do. But they have like actual pursuit packages on their vehicles. Yeah. Here as well in the Dallas area. Your discretion, big cowboy. Big cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw an Arlington guy with the cowboy. Hat on. On it's allowed now. Yeah. I was impressed. It's allowed. I was like, Damn. Bro, look at this guy. Nobody's pickup truck. We just our, need uh, the campaign hats. Our favorite homicide detective just got one. To avoid police there, but it's going to be very hard as we got Shut up. multiple vehicles behind him plus choppers up in the air following bro we need some semi help right here now. dude no kidding <laughs> i tell you what don't be going down a uh, highway around my area with my clapped out old ford truck i would get the <laughs> shit out of it <laughs> break check his ass yep 100 percent, bro r.i.p to my truck but good luck insurance <laughs> then, squirrel. then you sue him for uh all the pain uh, and suffering. Oh, images. That's right. oh yeah. It would be like, hey, bitch, at Paul State. To be here with you as we continue. Failure to evade. Along here, faulty of, uh, evasive maneuver. I'd write that. Situation CR3. that continues to happen. Right Get ripped, now, scrub. In the area. Now, I think I've got a neck brace, neck brace in my closet. I'll let you borrow. Take him right there. Pit him. Right there, everything. Boom. 
I will say, I'm very impressed by the other drivers on the road not getting in the cops' way. Yeah, shout out to them, dude. I've I've been going 140 and had someone decide to get in your way. I mean, I was there. The car in front could have like slowed down or something. County sheriff's office. When deputies try to yeah, they're all moving started. pretty fast now. Uh, yeah. No, this is He's a like, great excuse to now you speed yeah. because you know you're not going to get pulled over. He's like, I was just trying to get out of the way. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to get out of the way. That's why I went 130 miles an hour. And the DPS guy just breaks off the pursuit and Here writes the other guy a ticket. Yeah. Here he goes. And uh, now we are now off the highway here on local Bro, get him. What are we doing? From high above right now. Probably a new guy. And this is always the uh, yeah. scary part. So maybe. Situations like remember correctly, I think this guy's canine. No. Which guy? guy? Okay, the front guy. The. Right here. Let's see. Oh, maybe is it? Highway patrol. Yeah, it says canine surprise for the suspect. Oh, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Ooh. Mentioning why it's always a scary Any situation, bucky. though. Um, when we get into <laughs> local <laughs> roads here, is because I got mine uh, right there. What that suspect is going to do is. Uh, I think we have. Uh, I know we have Tarrant uh, County has trucks. To go I don't think. Uh, speed. I thought you were going to say Bucky's plushies. What? That'd be awesome. No, 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 no. That would be sick. <laughs> I, I think the only people I've seen is Tarrant County have trucks. Police truck explosion. Yeah, the big pickup trucks. Yeah. You talking about an F one fifty? Continue. Uh, Fort Worth has F-150s, Burleson has Dodge Rams, Tarrant County has F-150s and F-250s. Oh, look at that. Going right into the oh, look at that. Oh, my thing's here. being dumb. I'm coming oh, right back. Hold on. Oh, almost. That other driver just pulled off to the side, says, I am just going to stop there. Oh, almost another crash there with that pickup. But we continue on right here as uh, we are showing you once again that the driver continues to be reckless at this continues very moment. Continues to be reckless. Pit him. They do anything to evade capture right now. And uh, another slow one where that driver is going to have to maneuver in some way. Bro, if he just straight no stopped here, right there. No real estate Can't think he stopped. Be the be the winner. So we wait and see here for more action right here. Nah, bro, I'm to work on day. They're going to total it, dude. Just don't know yep. what the it. suspect is going oh. to do. Averts that one. And now back onto local roads once again. We will see what happens. And so uh, when they go through the intersections, that's the, always the hold your breath moments because you Shout just out to don't this, know uh, what's going to happen there. And uh, guys, if there's going to be traffic guy. pulling in here or what. Police uh, right on the tail here of this suspect. We continue to follow... Blackboard, that is my question. How did he not drive through any construction? It's like it's not, nothing but construction, and he's just not at all having any issues. That's when it was on the highway version. That's why I think it was the week between Christmas and New Year's. It's got to be. This is crazy. We're watching from high above right now. Sky Fox aerial showcasing this here for us. We appreciate everyone continuing to be with us here on live now from Fox during this high speed pursuit here of a driver that just does not under 40 pit him. And oh, a late, a late left right here pulling into looks to be a car wash gas station area. Let's see what's going to repair and refuel. Here. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Ding ding. This parking lot here trying to get put that car, put that car. And to the street, they're making it look but... both ways here. We go now you imagine? to a residential area here. Oh, this sucks now. Could this be an opportunity for the suspect yep. to try to maybe uh, just Bruh. ditch the vehicle Screw this and try guy. to make a run for it? You don't know what he's planning or if he's kids planning to oh, wait. Paper and tags, see man. This one, but Maybe call the driver just doesn't know where they're at right now because they made their way into this residential area. We have a problem with Texas temp tags. I believe it. Because they're fake 90% of the time. We had a problem with them, too. They're fake 100% of the time. Yeah. As well as you just got more people in these residential areas. And you're only supposed to be going 20 here. Obviously, those speeds going exceeding right now code uh, in these through type of this roadways. residential area in the Dallas area. You think speed bumps suck at 30? As soon as you see that uh, 
You're going through a neighborhood and you see the deaf child at play. Also, rip everyone's homeowners insurance here because I have seen yeah. cars and the trying to find a way out. Will there be DWIs police on the those. exit of this subdivision? <laughs> let's see. Doesn't look like it. He has found a way out of it. Now let's see what's going to happen. He stopped at a stop sign. Oh, oh, oh. They continue to He's trying to avoid those tickets, dude. Yeah. 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 It's right here. I'm live now from Fox. Remember, viewer discretion always advised here. Oh. As it looks like <laughs> we are going to get more at a high rate of speed once again here but oh look at that suspect oh right off that, that uh, truck. Nice. Now nice. nope smart nope. maneuver but oh damn oh, now he's gonna run as the Booking suspect it. now has bailed out of the car and now it ran out of his slides free for all yep. as we have the suspect running in this dallas area we've watched this side. before Continues. i tell you what this guy's got wheels uh, we've seen this foot pursuit and, before uh, we, I'm pretty sure. To try to get Not the vehicle pursuit. I'm fairly the, certain uh, we've watched this are going to be foot to pursuit before. Dude, uh, this guy has got wheels. Because remember, he goes under this tree, he hides, the helicopter loses him. He's going to pop out. I'm almost positive. Right now, as uh, the tree here is in the way... Can't see where that sus he's that gonna uh, he's gonna pop like here. he's gonna pop out a at a fence I think right now as well we'll wait and see what happens here if you're just joining us because they like set up a perimeter of, uh, speed police chase the vehicle suspect they just already got the vehicle one up here they already got a fucking helicopter like, yeah and now we're shout out to this to guy where that suspect here's where you have a helicopter yelling at you stop went. go to your right <laughs> yep Got somebody in the middle right of the street here. We're wondering who that is as well. Now, stop right he's there. He's got it. He's got it. My guy. We got police coming into the middle now. Two man unit. Look at that. Viewer discretion is advised here. We don't know if the suspect is on. So viewer discretion is advised. You the don't police say now it. in this neighborhood as they're going to canvas. Uh, the area I hated here doing as this. well. This, I enjoyed it. It just took forever. I was uh, pretty decent at finding the people. Area. Now the cane There's oh, the dog. Oh, no. now they got... oh he's yeah, going to have a bad day. Wait and see here. They're still trying to track the suspect that had a pretty good jump there from the moment uh, they bailed on the vehicle. Mm. Yeah. That dog looks a bit excited. Go, dog, go. We're following the canine right now as My well. guy's about to have a bad day. And they continue to track through. There he is. This. Oh, there it is. There's hey, look the suspect. At him. Here we go. We're going to see a pull down right here. Oh, no. Now down. that suspect has jumped the fence there. Clip Let's here. see here. Viewer discussion is advised here. Is that suspect now in the backyard of someone's home? Looks this like is why fence jumps, jumps fence and fence here. climbs are part yep. of uh, most people's physical right. requirements. Yeah. We got more than once. Continues to jump fence. Well, I got just crushing these, these fence jumps. Oh, that T landed hard on that. Let's see. I tell you what, dude. In these neighborhoods, I'd be real careful whose fence I jump. <laughs> I've seen some dogs in backyards. Yeah, not to mention so the residents. Who the hell's in that my backyard? Buford, sit down. down there when he's hopping. Buford. To, uh, get the grip what? on. But now, it's hard to see from this angle. I mean, he definitely hopped that fence right there. There he is. There he is. And now what's going to happen guy's here gassed. is the suspect continues to oh. be on the run. Oh, he's got it. As this marathon My guy chase legit continues. Where's the fur missile? Uh, the there he is. There is. Oh, there's, there's oh he didn't As care. this is going to be wrapped up here, suspect wanted to get on the hood there. Definitely what is this, a bomb sniffing dog? This is totally a bomb sniffing dog. This is having a good time, man. This is Michael's dog. This is Diego. Shout out to our number one first patriot. Hey, to be fair, he doesn't have to write the report for the bite now. There it is. Hey, shout out to a peaceful conclusion. Yeah. Um... So that was it for the night. I got to give my thanks real quick. Um, Sweeper, Perilous Mastodon, uh, Real Ness, Apathy's here, uh, Partner Gaming is here, Blank Forge is here, not with his alter ego. 
Uh, Pam was here with the pit that car chant. Uh, I'm missing. Sergeant George, or St. George as he's known here. Brian P. Uh, 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 Talib, or Taleb. I said Talib. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a recent uh, Patreon sub. Uh, Alfredo, my guy, go ahead and throw your little kitty box in the chat. Uh, Explore. I already said Perilous Mastodon. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Did I miss anybody? I think, oh, Jacob was here. He also gave us a super chat. Uh, Horatio, my guy. Welcome. Your name seems new. Christian Halsey. Christian Halsey for being the uh, OG here. Giving us the first super chat of the night. And I think I got everybody. Uh, I want to thank also Pam, Blankforge, and Jacob also for giving us... Uh, Super chats, and uh, I want to go ahead and tell Apathy to shove it for his 10 9 comment earlier. Uh, <laughs> I will hang out with you guys in the after party. Uh, I, I, Bill is tired, so he's got to go, but I will hang out with you guys real quick. Tired. I'm fucking party. sick. Um, I want to give a big thank you to everybody that showed up, everybody that dropped likes, and who has subscribed so far. We just cracked 3,000 subs on youtube i think we're about to eclipse like sixty thousand on tiktok or some crazy nonsense we are on instagram we share some savage memes periodically there we have some collaborations we're working on getting some extra comments uh or content comments i read comments <laughs> um he's like i didn't make it extra comments would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyways i, I want to thank those guys for that uh i want to thank sean for showing up and helping us with his leadership uh, and then producer one, as always, for all of his contributions to the channel. Um, I hope uh, Pam says that she hopes Bill feels better. Uh, we all hope Bill feels better. Uh, Sean. <laughs> so I will. Uh, I'll hang out with you guys. I'll give you guys about uh, 30, 40 minutes in the after party, and then uh, we'll do some more cool stuff. I'll give you guys. I owe you guys propane tank story. And what was the other one? Uh, something turned bad relationship, or I forget. And somebody remind me if you guys are in there. So, anyways. Oh, robbery turned bad relationship or something like that. Yeah, so it was something like that. I gotta look it up. I don't know that um, one. Sure. Quiet night. Oh, wow. She said, sure is a quiet night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. That's a bad juju. I don't have to worry about it. I'm a civilian. I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, I want to give a big special thank you to our Patreon subs. Uh, like I said, a li as little as a dollar a month gives you access to Patreon-only content that we can't release on YouTube, as well as our Discord. Our Discord gives you 24-hour access to troll us. That's how we get uh, the content for this type of stuff. You can try. Uh, we do have uh, a lot more stuff that we have filmed that Producer One is tirelessly working at trying to crank out, uh, and we have some collaborations that we're working on in the backdrop to go do. Uh, hopefully, we have some cool stuff I'll end up for you guys, and then we're always open to input from both you, the viewer, and uh, our uh, inside group of Patreon subs. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Did I miss anything? Nope. We got it. Cool. Uh, until next time, thank you for writing like five men with us tonight. Um, until then, peace. Five men. <laughs> five. Five men. Hey, kind of like uh, Megan Hall. <laughs> he said, I like that one person we don't talk about. Right.